Welcome everybody to AI Innovators in Telecommunications, where we're helping the industry move to an AI-driven telecom. And I'm very fortunate to have with me today, Paul from Zincwork. Paul, could you introduce yourself? How are you doing? Um, I'm the CEO of Zincworks. Uh, we're a professional services company and have a deep collaboration with Google working in telecoms. Well, Paul, that's really exciting because we just announced our Thomas Network Framework last week, and you're a great partner of ours. So tell me, what does Autonomous Network Framework mean to you and your company and our customers? So that framework has been brilliant. Like it establishes a model that operators can implement against. And that's what we're doing uh, for our customers. We're implementing against that model, deploying AI agents to help deliver that autonomous network uh, ambition and dream that tel telcos around the world have. Well, and it's where we see folks today from a communication service provider ex perspective, they're really at phase two or three, right? That they have to get over the, cross the chasm, if you will. How are you helping them get to that point? with AI and with the work that you're doing? So the autonomous network concept has been with the industry for about 25 years, uh, but has never been achievable, always promised. Uh, what we're seeing with, platform, with GCP is the ability to bring all the data to a single place, deploy real AI on top, and actually deliver autonomous networks. Well, it is about that data layer. It is about some new technologies and ways to actually implement it. 25 years is a long time. Why do you think we can do it now? We're, we're doing it now. I've, I've seen this happen today in production in real networks. Uh, we're delivering solutions that allow operators to significantly scale back the effort to manage that network. Uh, and we see the, in proof of concept at the moment, that ability to get that to zero touch systems where the network can manage itself. And the self-driving is the ultimate goal. Absolutely. You, 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 operators spend a huge amount of money building out these uh, enormous networks. Uh, and with the current management systems they have in place, they're not leveraging those assets to their full benefit. Uh, what we see is with the autonomous networks, with the leveraging of the AI, AI agents, uh, that you can fully, you can get the full value out of that capital that's been deployed in building those networks. And, and I think what we're talking about is agents. Is it one agent? Is it two agents? Is it multiple agents? How much work should you have an agent do? What, is, what are your thoughts on that? So, so we decompose the agents down to s smaller tasks and have them communicating with each other. So you can have an agent that uh, monitors the network. Uh, and when it sees some issue with the network, it hands it over to the troubleshooting agent. The troubleshooting agent can come with a proposed solution and hand it over to the uh, config agent, which sends a change back to the network to close the full loop and give you a true uh, autonomous networking. And, and we've been using agents outside of the network, and now we're starting to use them inside. How do you see the, the future going from an agent to agent conversation, not just inside the network, but then reaching out to service ticketing or customer engagement or things like that? Absolutely. It's across your whole landscape, your whole portfolio. It's not only in the network management with the traditional FCAPs. It's across your BSS system, your field management, your inventory management. It's the whole system, your whole network. And, and what are you seeing from customers right now? What are some of the examples? Uh, you talked a little bit about that. Could you expand on that? Yeah. So Real-life examples we're seeing now is a massive reduction in the number of ticketing generated when we've deployed our um, uh, agents uh, on, their, on their network. So where they could see a volume of tickets that every one of them has a cost uh, being reduced by 80% on the first iteration. And we have more iterations to go. Uh, and really where we want to be is that tickets are raised, tickets are closed, and there, there is a human check, but that's all. It's not, it's not required intervention. It's so it's, it's kind of humans in the loop, humans out of the loop. Um, it's okay to have both, but we, as we move further and further into the autonomous world, we gain the trust, and we can let that run and learn on its own. Exactly. There is, a, there is a, an, a, an organizational transition required there, first to establish the faith and trust in the, in the solutions themselves, uh, and. Uh, 
over time, then you should see the human intervention reducing and stepping away entirely. Well, that's pretty awesome. And it's, it's really great to have this kind of partnership because we know we can't do it on our own. Um, what does that kind of partnership mean to Zinc Works and, and um, how we're attacking the marketplace? So one, th one thing that's really powerful for us is that our engineers love working on this. Uh, they're working on cutting edge technology and the speed of production, delivery to production is incredible. So we have engineers who start working on a project, 12, 12 weeks later, they can have that solution deployed in production in a live teleco network. So they can see the fruits of their labor incredibly quickly. So that's in 12 weeks. What would it have typically taken them prior to that framework, prior to leveraging the technology? So if we go back with some other clients where we would have worked uh, supporting their development of solutions, it could be two years from start a project to production. So it's, it's really two years to weeks. Yeah, and, and the, the 12 weeks is like starting from the blank page to first production. As we iterate, you're deploying every week ongoing. So it becomes a continuous deployment uh, into a live production system in, in Telco. And that, that is incredible. Yeah. That is amazing. I call it the speed of AI. Everything's shipping and moving so quick and getting to production so quick. It's, it's incredible. Yeah, and you, you, you can't afford to wait two years because if you start a project and two years later it's in production, it's out of date already. You, like the developments that we've seen over the last uh, six months even have been uh, huge. So if you started a project two years ago and you still haven't in production, it's time to mothball that and start again. Like it's... Well, I think that's the, the huge value that we're bringing with the framework, with AI, with our partnership. It's speed and agility into the industry. And Paul, I really appreciate the partnership and look forward to more great things with our customers. Brilliant, Brian. Yeah, thanks very much for that. That's it for now in AI Innovators in Telecommunications. Thank you so much for watching.